My wife and I had a baby girl um, almost two years ago now, and we had been living in New York for years. I was a book editor, and she was a graphic designer. Um, but with the arrival of our daughter, we thought that we didn't want to live in New York anymore. And um, I'd grown up here, which is uh, in Susquehanna County, uh, northeastern Pennsylvania, and uh, I'd wanted to to move back here because this is where I grew up and this kind of place always makes sense to me. On our left here, we're about to pass a natural gas well pad. Um, it's one of the first ones I remember appearing here in the area. And it's also the most, one of the most visible ones. You usually you find that they're tucked away uh, on a hilltop with trees surrounding them. I see a cardinal in there. So researching the book, actually, I, I had a couple long conversations with our local chief of police about policing a rural area, and those are really interesting, and I actually ended up calling him one morning because um, we got up early in the morning, and it was kind of this nice, misty morning. My wife looks out, or I look out, and I see what I think is a, a deer in the field, and I say, oh, Emily, look, there's a deer. And so she gets her little field glasses and she looks at it and she looks back at me and she kind of goes. And so I look at it through the field glasses and it's a llama that's lying down in the field and it stands up and it's like four times the size that I thought it was. And somebody's llama had escaped and uh, we actually knew a couple of people that raised llamas and uh, so we called them, it wasn't theirs, and we called the chief of police and he, he showed up and... Uh, I was talking to him out there in the driveway while he was looking for it. It disappeared into the woods again. He was sitting in his car hoping it'd show up again. And I asked him, uh, you know, how's things? How's, uh, how are things out here? He's, you know, busy. <laughs> 